too cold at home. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Ginger. I am here with another Muse review. This time, it's Mark Chestnut. Tradition lives. Yes, it does. I forgot how much I like Mark Chestnut. I think I'm blurry. Um, it's been a while since I've purchased a Mark Chestnut album, but I saw that he had a new one, so I always liked his stuff. Um, what I have are his stuff from the 90s. He is part of a sort of the tail end of the new tradition, the new traditional movement that was happening in the 80s. Mark Chestnut's first album was in 90. And then I have um, Long Necks and Short Stories, which came out in 92. And then uh, I have Almost Goodbye, which came out a couple of years later. He's part of a group of guys who came out of the Southeast Texas area, Beaumont, the Beaumont Southeast Texas area. They all sort of hit the scene in the early 90s. He came out in 90. Um, Tracy Bird came out in 93, I think. And Clay Walker came out in about 94. Mark even has a song in here that he co-wrote called um, Never Been to Texas, which is basically the music industry tells artists that nobody is interested in drinking songs and cheating songs and things like that, but people still are. And, you know, he and a lot of these other guys grew or grew up on George Jones and things like that and you know George Jones was uh, I think he was born in Saratoga but he there's a famous picture of him when he was a child holding a guitar playing on the streets of Beaumont so you know Beaumont has a lot of history for uh, in country music for um, putting out all of these really great artists Mark Chestnut is one of them and I love this album from beginning to end. This is great. Uh, he's got a nice, rich voice. Almost a, a, a baritone type voice. This, this made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> Some of my favorites were... Is It Still Cheating? Which is basically, if we're both running around on each other is it still considered cheating. Um, one of my absolute favorites on here is a song called Neither Did I. <laughs> and basically it's about, it's like a modern take on getting left. And basically he's saying, you know, did you know this bar that we're sitting in has a sofa you can crash on. Did you know that your wife can clean out your savings with a click of the mouse? Did you know it only takes three seconds in a microwave to mess up your Haggard CD so bad that they'll never play again? <laughs> sort of thing. It's a really great song. Uh, also, Never Been to Texas and also Hot. So there are 13 there are 13 tracks on here there are 12 tracks and then there's a bonus track but hot is the 12th track and it's perfect for this time of year because it's just one of the funniest lines is that hotter than a biscuit in the iron skillet hotter than Cindy Crawford in a sauna <laughs> it's really funny it's honky-tonk music and although I was never, because you'll probably say to yourself, Ginger, did you ever go to Cutters? No, I never did go to Cutters because I was never a bar, honky tonkin type of person. But I truly appreciate the music. Um, when you do go into places like that, those people want to dance. Talking about two step, two stepping. We're talking about you know. Hugging your partner close and two-stepping and waltzing and all that kind of fun stuff. So, 
check this out if you enjoy real country music because this is traditional country music. We've got the fiddle, the steel guitar, and just it's a feeling that it's 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 a sound that to me if you appreciate this kind of music it's the type of sound that makes you feel all warm inside there you go so check out the new mark chestnut go out and buy it 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 the new mark chestnut tradition lives don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these music reviews. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can come back and sit for a spell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And see, the thing that people don't understand is that in Texas, even if you're not on a major label, which not a lot of people are on major labels anymore, even people who used to be on major labels, like Mark Chestnut, and other rock bands and things like that they're not on major labels anymore but as long as they're touring and things like that you know they're still making it he's been making records all along he's been touring for 26 years you know um, and even if he I mean he's been touring all over the country uh, all this time but even if he was just touring within Texas or Louisiana you can make a decent living as a traveling musician with all the bars and honky tonks and clubs and things like that around Texas. You don't have to have help with a major label because back in the day, the major labels were the ones who did all the promoting. Well, we have social media now, so you don't need that big engine behind you anymore. And it's not like they gave you all that money for free. So, <laughs> you always had to pay that money back. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, people, some people are probably going to hate me. Of course, if you're interested in this album, you may not hate what I'm about to say. But country music goes through its ebbs and flows through the years. I'm, uh, where pop dominates and tradition is kind of pushed to the side um, and we've been in one of those downs uh, since hopefully we'll start getting out of it since Taylor Swift has decided to take her proper spot in pop music. Feel to it. Woo!